What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're taking another look at the Empire's SMP and a lot has happened since the last time we covered it. There have been a ton of new buildings, new mega bases, a demonic presence on the server and even a wedding. So definitely a lot of crazy things happening on the server and it's time to take another look. First up today, we are looking at the Mythical Sausage, who has been doing a lot of work on his empire, as we can see here, this massive base expansion, and it looks incredible. Of course, the Mythical Sausage is a great builder, so a ton of detail went into this, and it looks incredible. Other than that, on the server, he has been doing a lot of work uh, as an assassin as well, and he also has been dealing with the demonic presence, and it's actually been kind of helping him get more Ravagers, so it, it's worked out a little bit. He also is in a sort of war with uh, the Cod Father and trying to build the bigger wall. Unfortunately, he is currently losing, but hopefully we'll see a huge wall upgrade in the near future. As long as people keep coming to hire him as an assassin, he will be doing perfectly fine on the server for quite a while. And of course, before I forget, if you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well and check out the rest of our content. We cover everything Minecraft, including SMPs, mods, updates, and so much more. So go ahead and check out the rest of our content, and let's get right back into the video. Next up, we have Pixel Rifts, who is building an empire in a far off desert land, and it is looking absolutely amazing so far. He's doing a great job of putting a lot of detail works and a lot of lush things to give it a kind of oasis in this desert, and he's done a lot of work very recently on getting the foundation set up for a lot more buildings to be added on in this empire. It's definitely going to be very cool to watch the next time lapse that he does when he actually does all the finishing touches on these buildings and they're not just plain structures. The mega bases on the Empire's SMP so far are for the most part just small buildings all clumped together to create towns and villages rather than one very large building. I really like this idea and I think it fits the Empire's theme very well to have a village, town, city. Uh, that is part of your empire and houses everything that you're going to need rather than just one main building. Next up we are looking at Shubble who has a lot of decorations now built around her uh, empire and a lot of these weren't actually built by her but rather the demonic presence that is on the server currently. It does look very cool though and she'll probably change it up and make it her own but for now it is definitely a very interesting concept. She also has a huge underground area and excavated a large hole in the ground where she's putting her nether mushrooms and things like that. Even though a lot of the outside wasn't her, her building style alone is still very unique and cool. She's a very natural builder and has been working a lot with just plants and things like that around her whole empire and I think that is a really cool design and makes it look like a very interesting area. Whip also introduced her very recently to uh, Rooted Dirt, so she's now adding that to parts of her base as well to give a hanging overgrown look from the roof as well as from the bottom. Next up we are looking at Smallish Beans who is actually one of the people who is building a very large structure on the server and you can tell that this build is going to be absolutely massive when it's finished even though it's already very massive now. He's also using a lot of very unique blocks including concretes, terracottas, uh, red sand and so much more in this build and it's all coming together very nicely. He's also using a mod called Lightmatica which actually throws down a layout of something that he's built in creative already. So he has actually done a large portion of this build in creative to get an idea of what he does and then it throws down a schematic of what he needs to actually fill in. This mod is super useful for getting your creativity right and I'm glad to see that he's using it here in order to build exactly how he wants to build. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite mega bases of all time and I really can't wait to see it finished. Next up we are looking at Solidarity or better known as the Codfather. He has done some major work on his walls and made them much taller, including taller than Mythical Sausage's walls, which he'll probably respond very soon with bigger walls. There's also some other things going on in his land, some of the demonic presence has transformed his land, and he also has some new builds and things like that. Definitely can't wait to see this kingdom further developed, it's definitely going to be very interesting and I'm already liking some of the builds and things that have been put down so far. Also the interactions between everybody on the Empire's SMP has been absolutely hilarious to watch and there's a lot of very interesting interactions as well including the wedding between LD Shadow Lady and Smallish Beans. 
Next up, we are looking at Joey Graceffa, who has had a very interesting interaction with the demon so far. He's also built a summoning chamber for the demon in this part of his jungle. Uh, underneath the temple, he went ahead and built a whole room for the actual summoning, and I think this actually is a great idea and looks amazing as well. Definitely a very cool block palette, and he did a great job of detailing this whole room. Not much more work has gone into his pyramid build, although there definitely is some added new details and things like that throughout the whole build. He played around with adding some details on the outside but ended up changing his mind, and the inside has some new things in the air as well. Next up we are checking out Catherine Elizabeth, of course the Blossom Queen, and she's built an entire fairy village in her empire and did a lot of decorations on it very recently. I think this is an amazing design choice to add in and fits with her empire very well, especially with the Iron Golem garrison that's right there as well. She is a very natural builder and uses a lot of the plants, flowers, blossoms, azalea bushes, everything to add to her builds and it turns out looking very incredible. She's definitely a great uh, detailer in her works and it's really showing off especially in her new bases. Uh, I really like the roofs especially on the new bases in the fairy village uh, with the purple blocks and then also the wood from the nether. It's all very fitting and looks very nice and fits very nicely with her personality as well. The variety of blocks that she's been using in her builds is really amazing to me because I really don't see these types of blocks used very often, so the fact that she's putting all these together shows how creative she is and it's a really great build. Next up we are looking at LD Shadow Lady who we unfortunately skipped in the last episode and of course we have to cover what Smallish Beans built for her after the wedding, just a small house on an island in her ocean empire and it was just kind of a little gift and place for him. She recently built an entire tower add-on to her ocean empire and it looks absolutely incredible. She also built it a lot for uh, the ability to house this prisoner that she has now hung in between the two towers. Uh, she uses live coral in the roof which I think is an amazing addition. She of course has to put water in the roof to house that as well so it's a very creative build. Uh, she also uses a lot of quartz which I know must have taken forever and her interior work looks very cool because she started using drip leaf as a table which is very interesting. Next up we are looking at Dang, that's a long name, and he has a very cool empire so far on this server. He's been doing a lot of work with barns and things like that, and he's even had some problems with the demonic presence coming and changing some of his landscape. Definitely a very cool area, I love the blue blocks that he's using uh, in all the roofs, it's definitely a very cool area and he definitely needs to figure out how to get the iron golems to stop crushing all his crops. Next up we are looking at Flip, who has made some major progress on the outside of his kingdom. He recently got a ton of Wither Roses and the ability to get an infinite mount more, so he decided to make a, a place to show off his Wither Roses and did it right there. He also decided to transform this area of land and fill the bottom with lava and then fill the rest with red glass. Unfortunately you can't still see the lava through the red glass because he put so many layers, but it is still a very cool addition to the outside of his base. Next up we are looking at Gemini Tay, who has done some more work on the actual small buildings that she's putting around her whole area. She hasn't done any more progress on the wizard tower yet, but she has foundations for a lot of the buildings laid out and she recently built another one which was the blacksmith and it looks incredible. I really like the detail she put into the bottom of the build, it's definitely looking great and I'm loving her use of the calcite and amethyst. Fortunately for her, calcite should be much more available in the 1.18 update because she seems to like using that block a lot. Her whole area is coming together very nicely though and I really like the spruce wood and amethyst and calcite combinations. It's definitely a very good look and I'm really excited to see the final product of the wizard tower. Next up we are looking at Pearlescent Moon who has built an incredible barn expansion onto her base. It's definitely a huge barn and can hold anything that she'll need in it and she even built some silos on the side of it as well which I think add a great touch to the entire area of her empire. Definitely a very interesting block palette for this barn, it includes copper, oak wood, and different types of andesite, so it's a very interesting build and looks amazing. I'm really enjoying her building style on this server, she's done a lot of very detailed builds with a lot of different blocks which I think looks amazing, and her time lapses and everything she uses for these builds looks incredible, I really like the way she puts her videos together, so I'm enjoying watching her so far this uh, season. 
I mean, just look at all the different blocks in these silos. You can see Deep Slate, a lot of different variants of Deep Slate, Stone, Dirt, Dripstone, and so much more. Definitely a very cool build. That is all that we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and check out all the rest of our Minecraft content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.